Hello, good evening, welcome to my YouTube. That was an introduction that you were not expecting because usually I go, hey guys, welcome to One Takes, but instead I changed it because I thought about mentioning that my YouTube is actually called Oh Jesse Boy and not just One Takes because One Takes isn't actually what my channel is called. If you search for One Takes, you'll probably find my channel, but that's just because I tag over things all the time. Anyways, guess what's up? I'm walking, if you can't tell. Are you blind? Are you just listening to this? Look at my face! Look at me! Hi! I'm so glad you're here. Aren't you glad that you pushed play on this video? It's pretty life-changing already, I can tell. Basically, it's raining outside. This also shouldn't be a surprise if you know that I live in Oregon. I just state a lot of really obvious things, I've come to realize. But, you watch it anyways, because Every time I say it, you're like, oh, yeah, you're right, of course. I'm always right. Always. Moving on. Why am I walking in the rain? Because I'm going to my car, which is parked pretty far over here. I'm actually making this video in an attempt to make myself seem occupied and social so I don't get murdered by strangers that target people walking alone in the evenings. It's not really dark enough yet. For the murderers, but um, you can never be too safe, you know. You always get murdered when you least expect it. Not true. That's not true. Sometimes you really expect it. Those people in those horror movies, they are expecting it like the whole time, except for the first one. Once the first guy dies, then everyone expects it, but the first guy usually doesn't. I don't actually know. I don't watch horror movies because I hate them. They're so scary. Moving on. Going to my car because I gotta get notebooks and folders. I still don't have them and I'm running out to third term into college and I'm finally running out of the notebooks that I had. Yeah, that should tell you something about how many notes I take in class. Not many. I actually use most of my notebooks for doodling. Yeah, at one point in one of my classes, I just spent the whole class drawing pictures all around the page and then at the very end, I would write three or four words to summarize what the whole lecture was about. It turned out pretty effective. Passed that class of the day. So, you know, don't listen to my tips for how to pass college because you will fail because you are not me. And that only worked for one class. Look at this building. Science happens there. I don't know what science. I've never actually been inside because I don't really do a lot of science. I do a lot of design, you know, this is a different building. Going down a side road right now, so it's getting a lot more dangerous. Ooh, that car's kind of slowing down. I could have just got shot. Do some drive-bys. Corvallis is a really dangerous place. It's really, it's like, trying to be, I'm trying really hard to be politically correct right now, not offend cultures. Um, so instead I just decided not to talk, which is probably something that a lot of people should learn. If what you're saying is going to be offensive, just don't talk. The thing is a lot of people don't know if what they're saying is offensive because they're that ignorant about issues and cultures and how people feel. Just let me have my feelings, okay? And don't offend them. Watch yourself. Um, I'm almost to my car. I take this back way because it's way more fun. It's way more dangerous, actually. Like, the danger level just went up even higher, probably multiplied by, like, seven. I'm guessing about seven. Um, there's that dumpster right there. Weird noises come from it. Also, that building. Weird noises come from that, too. I feel like there's a monster, a science monster in that building that they're keeping locked up, and it gets really angry and just hits things. But luckily it hasn't broken free as far as I know, but no guarantees, because that's not like they would tell us, because then they'd have to reveal that they had a monster this whole time. I'm going to my car, I'm going to get some folders and notebooks, going to eat some food. I have to go pick up my friends. One of them broke his toe a couple hours ago. He's totally okay. I mean, except for his toe. That part's broken. That's what broken toe means. Oh, look, I'm at my car. Well, this was a wonderful time. I'm glad that we had this talk. You just wasted about five minutes of your life. Five minutes of your life that you won't get back. Bye.